Hello and welcome back to SimCity. Uh, for this episode, I'm not going to be doing any new building. I think I'm just going to be retrofitting uh, my large city with some new infrastructure. His name is Luanda. I haven't shown it to you guys before. Um, but it's a pretty cool place. As you can see, it's got quite a few uh, freeways. And if it turns out to be tenable, this city is definitely one of the first ones I'm going to be retrofitting with Project Symphony when it comes out. By the way, uh, I just realized in my last video, I said that um, the new NAM that includes Project Symphony is coming out on Friday the 29th. Uh, but today's the 28th, and tomorrow is actually the 1st. Uh, because February only has 28 days. I always forget that until it runs up on me. <laughs> Anyway, I think I'll show you guys around the city a little bit uh, before we just start zooming in and building right away. I've actually done a little bit of the retrofits that uh, I'm intending to do right now. Well, oh, and you can see right here, but I ran into a crash after I completed it and started working on something else. But here, I'll show you guys around first. This is the oldest neighborhood of the city along the riverfront here. So I first started building, you can see uh, my power plant district here uh, used to be all natural gas. Nowadays, uh, just have a single hydrogen plant. I think that's what it is, right? Yeah. And that's still playing for us now. Some recycling centers. Had some real trash problems in the city. Have quite a number of waste energy plants here. Lots of uh, clifftop residentials throughout the city. It's separated from the rest of uh, the region by this mountain chain. Uh, but definitely the developers went right up to the very edge of the steepest parts. And in a lot of cases, the steepest parts have actually been built on this. Yeah, you can see how it looks. This was a, a railway running through here into a tunnel here. Um, but, but basically what I want to do, the records I was talking about, um, I want to, because it's a pretty big city, so I thought it didn't really make sense that there were so many at-grade rail crossings. Uh, so we're trying to make these all grade separated. I'll show you what I'm going to do with that area when we get around to it. But, yeah, you can see, um, Runs into a stick station here. A lot more at grade uh, rail crossings. Gonna be working on those. Hmm. Yep. I really like the atmosphere of this town. I think it has a lot of everything. From massive high density neighborhoods to well spread out, old fashioned style, medium density, and then also lots of, uh, you know, low density, more realistic type areas. This isn't low density along the waterfront, of course, but, uh, you yeah. know, got an airport. I also think I'm going to be taking this out and uh, replacing it with a functional airport, but I'm going to wait until I have Project Symphony to do that, because um, I want to make sure that the highway connection makes sense. Yeah, it's still pretty small, even for the size of the city. My population, by the way, 210,000. And as you can see by the mini-map, it's pretty much completely uh, built out on the north and west sides of this river. And then this vast undeveloped area is... I'm going to get around to it when I have to project something. I don't think it really will make much sense to... Uh, built right up against these freeways right now, only to have to demolish it all in a couple days. Oops. Yeah. You can see they really... Slope was no obstacle to development in this city. 
I have this big downtown park too. Um, but uh, more recently I've looked at it and realized it actually uh, cuts off downtown from the rest of the city even worse than the freeway does. Um, so as nice as it is to have a big urban park very accessible to our high density areas, that was what I was going for. I do think I am going to end up probably developing over it and uh, building the road connection through because uh, traffic in this area is a bit of a problem. Um, yeah, the park isn't really even finished. It just has god mode trees. Uh, I did actually build it out quite a bit with uh, narrow mode flora and uh, other such things. But, oh, actually, this is a mix of uh, god mode and narrow mode trees, uh, but there's no other kinds of decoration in this park yet. I was intending for it to be a nature park anyway, but uh, I don't know. I just don't think it looks that good. And it would be nicer to have a city that's just more connected in a new urbanist kind of way. Let's see, with this fit through right here, nope, we're gonna have to figure that out somehow else. Not a problem. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just move the big urban park somewhere like maybe this vast area here, along the riverside, or maybe around the beach instead, maybe even both. But I like the, but it will still be very accessible, you know, right over the freeway bridge from downtown pretty much, and from our uh, denser riverfront district here too. I uh, see this diagonal bridge here, that was my first time making, using the diagonal bridge neighbor. Took a few tries of course. And I'm really not sure I'm happy with how the terrain ended up looking, but... Well, I mean, for my first work, I don't think it's that bad at all. And there are definitely, in real life, plenty of embankments like this too. Especially if I were to say that the riverfront here... Uh, ground isn't particularly solid. Then it wouldn't make sense that I have all these big buildings on it though, so scratch that. <laughs> anyway, uh, I'm a big fan of Luanda. I've got all different kinds of neighborhoods and I think they have a lot of character. I'll definitely be doing a lot more with the city. I'll probably be using the NWM here quite a bit at some point too. Although I do have so many uh, freeway ramps that it might be tough to find any avenues that don't connect to freeways. <laughs> Uh, I guess I've got a couple. Yeah, on WM would be hard to work here just because of the variety of networks. It's really more of a... I think it's really more of a, in its element in rural areas because it's so easy to drag through there. And not being able to densely zone around it uh, doesn't quite matter so much. Or you can densely zone around it, but you know I mean, make dense blocks around it. Man, this is a bit of a tough... I'm not sure we're, how we're gonna grade separate that, I guess I'll get to it. Anyway, let's get started on this. I believe I already had all of the slopes figured out for the uh, stuff I wanted to do here. Start out with the uh, Start end puddle, puzzle pieces. One there and one there. Some on slope pieces. There, there. Oop. There. There. It's not totally even, but I'd rather have it be uneven than have to reroute this road. Get the over blank terrain. Oops, build out four of those. And drill over scoop. Got it. 
clear a load of road. And there. I think this is a fairly good design. It takes advantage of the natural layer of the terrain to a certain extent, including the yellow passes. You can see that in order to use the ground lifter locks, I actually have to demolish quite a few houses. Mm -hmm. But it's the nice thing about SimCity. Affluent residents will do not sue you when you try to redevelop over the neighborhoods. <laughs> we even have another infill house here. We could put a tree next to there in order to make it a bit more attractive. I got rid of quite a few of these historic looking plane trees. Things are, oh, that reminds me, I also lost the landscaping work I did around this uh, railroad pass. We used to have uh, scattered plane trees along these cliffs, um, but I think I'm going to go with something else now. Line up these uh, Mediterranean floors. Make them a bit thicker on the flatter areas. That looks fine. I think they complement our uh, Well, and I'm back. Sorry for the break there. Just got interrupted again. Anyway, I think we're doing some mirror mode landscaping. Yeah, I think I want to have a few palms lining this road up to my small corner industrial and power plant sector. Can't fit too many. I seem to remember being able to fit more. Well, sorry about that. Knocked over my microphone. Yeah, that clips a bit, but hopefully it should be fine. I always use more palm trees. Have them line this little hillside road. I like the look of that. Yeah. One on that guy's property too. House will probably redevelop someday, but until it does, that'll look great. Palm right next to those redwoods. <laughs> okay. So. Looks like it's still recording. Uh, I don't know if you saw everything, but I got a crash just there. Thankfully, however, I did save just before I started placing that road overpass. Um, this is the second time I've crashed trying to place that particular overpass. Uh, if I have to guess, I think the problem is with the Perry Rail Station. Um, so I think I'll uh, bulldoze the rail connection to that before I try placing it this time and see if that makes a difference. 
Apart from that, everything looks to me like it should allow for a successful road overpass, so uh, I don't see why it shouldn't all work out. Yeah, I'm really glad I'm separating all of these uh, rail intersections. You can just imagine if rails crossed any real-life city as thoroughly as they do Luanda, and there was no separation in major neighborhoods. Just imagine the traffic backups with massive freight trains serving the large population of the area. Okay, so there is one other thing. Um, it looks like we're gonna have to redo this as well. But, man, actually it seems like that bus stop wasn't really necessary in the first place. There's another one right next to it. Well, we won't replace the stop then. Well, so let's bulldoze all these rails. Rebuild it like that. Bulldoze all that. And all that, and that. And that. Now let's place this overpass for real. Man. Oops. Oh, it's not placing. Guess I have to destroy all the roads. That's better. And that's better too. Uh, actually, before we connect things up... Beautiful. Let's see if that crashes when we hook it up to the station. There we go. And there. Uh, does that hook up properly? Yes. Great. Make sure all the roads connect. And I feel sorry for that. The owners of this brown brick office here. More than half of their front windows now face side or underside of a concrete road overpass. <laughs> well, that's just life in the big city. And quite frankly, this neighborhood here looks like a great candidate for Vida Trail. Yeah, I don't really see how else I would uh, get over all this stuff. So, no time like the present to get started on that. Actually, here, let me check something really fast. I'm not sure if I even have all the correct puzzle pieces to do the rail like this. Alright, I should have all the puzzle pieces I need. As you can see, I already did some preliminary demolitions off screen. So, let's start out with the start puzzle piece. There's no, really no better way. And we're gonna have to make a few pretty tight curves here. I think it's unlikely that uh, this street will make, will connect or make too much sense, but uh, it wasn't really intended to in the first place, so that'll be fine. Alright, so we'll definitely want to have one switch there. Another switch. Hmm. We need to have the corresponding one place first. And honestly, that's a bit close for me. I don't like how that looks. Dezone all of this. And we'll give that one more go. Oh, 
Looks like I skipped the puzzle piece. There it is. Ooh, oops. Man, almost dropped my camera again. Or uh, knocked over my microphone again, too. So this looks like it should work fine here. And like that. And like that. Yes. That looks like it should line up as well. Oops. I used the wrong puzzle piece there. Feels a bit dirty. Um. Here, I'll place the uh, blank game pieces first. And. Uh, 